John in the Netherlands writes to me and he says, Paul, I have a PS Audio P10 power plant regenerator. Good work, sir. Would putting a DC blocker in front of it increase performance? Uh, no, no, it, it would not. I mean, if, if the P10 has, it already has a DC blocker inside of it, adding another one in series, not a great idea, unless, you, unless your line has so much DC on it that it's really causing a problem, I definitely would not do that. So let me explain how all this sort of works. Sometimes when the utility company isn't doing the best job or they have a malfunctioning transformer up on the pole that feeds your power, into your home, you'll find a bit of DC, direct current, like battery voltage, on the line. Now what happens is, it's supposed to be just pure AC. When you put a little bit of DC on the line, that skews the transformer that operates your equipment. Because remember, what's coming into your equipment should be AC, right? Boom, 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 boom. You're going into your transformer, which is a coil of wire, and we want that to be just pure AC. Just push it this way, push it that way, bing, boom, bing, boom. When you add DC, all of a sudden, the coil shifts like that and is permanently, if, if you put DC through a coil, you turn it into a magnet, right? That's how, um, that's what coils do. You put, I, on one of my videos, uh, I don't know how many of you have ever seen. You can find it on YouTube today. We actually produced a whole bunch of them. Um, uh, but it was called um, From Coal to Coal Train. C-O-A-L to Coal Train. Look it up on YouTube. It's about a 30-minute thing. I produced it. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And it, it explains how AC works. It explains how it's generated. I go to a, a power plant, a generating station, uh, here locally and we watch the coal going up and the furnaces. It's pretty cool. I, I spent quite a bit of time doing it and one of the things in there as I'm explaining how all this works and we go through Edison and Tesla and fun, it's a fun film, Coal to Coal Train. Um, I create a magnet. I just wrap some wire around there and I hook it up to a 9 volt battery. I think it's a 9 volt. I haven't seen it for a while. And I pick up a bunch of paper clips. So Anytime that you put DC onto a coil of wire, it turns it into a magnet. Well, it's only going in one direction, so that magnet pulls everything over to the side. And now we send AC through it, and it's asymmetrical. And if you put enough DC through there, that's really going to upset the laminations in the transformer, and we get this and not a great sound. So they sell and we install DC blockers, which is basically just a diode bridge that hopefully takes it above the 0.6 volts or so that is generally on there making your transformer hum. So that's all it is. It's just, it's a diode bridge in a box. And if it's really bad, you put two diode bridges, one in series with the other. But no, I don't think that you should do that. I don't think it'd be any advantage unless you have a lot of hum. Okay, I hope that helps. And if you get a chance, go to YouTube and type in, uh, I don't know if it's Paul McGowan, PS Audio, but just type in Coal to Coal Train and you'll find it. It's, it's, a, fun, it's a fun watch. Okay, thanks. Take it easy.